So we are here at the airport. Um, we are almost ready to go to Brazil. Are you ready? One, two, three. Welcome to Rio de Janeiro. So this is the place that is just between uh, uh, Copacabana and Ipanema. Our hotel where we're staying is in Copacabana and uh, we just rented a bike which you know I love to go around with bike which I think is so much more convenient and uh, I'm gonna go around uh, Ipanema and Copacabana to explore. Today is a beautiful weather, it's sunny and nice. I was a bit worried at the beginning because when uh, I checked the forecast, it was raining and cloudy all the time. But as you know, Rio de Janeiro is on the feet of the rainy forest, so normally the weather is a little bit unpredictable and a bit crazy. Now is uh, the end of October, which in Rio is the beginning of the summer, and uh, the weather is just incredible to die for. Everyone is in the water, surfing, sporting. It is really, really great. Let's go to the beach to Ipanema. Uh, there's a lot of people there. We went uh, on a bike to where this mountain is, to the other area. And now we are going to the beach and swim. Well, of course, the first thing that you do when you're in Brazil is uh, coming to the beach. So we came to Ipanema to have uh, uh, at a basic time. I went for a swim, but the sea is so rough. I'll show you on the video. Of course, when you come to Brazil, what are you gonna do? You're gonna have a caipirinha, because you have to. hotel where I'm going to spend the rest of my time in Rio de Janeiro. 
So I am delighted because it is in Lapa, which is the city center of Rio de Janeiro. It's a bohemian uh, place. It used to be a very popular area, the area where I'm staying. And it's nice because it's very busy and full of people at night time. And I decided to stay here for the rest of my stay in Rio de Janeiro because before I stayed in uh, Copacabana, which was very nice because the hotel was by the beach. But now I'm gonna stay here for a few nights because I wanted to experience the more bohemian part of Rio de Janeiro, which is the Lapa. I love because it's, uh, there's a lot of space. You can see there's all the rooms in here and in here, but also you have this amazing swimming pool. Which, of course, as soon as you arrive in your hotel, what do you want to do? Go immediately to the pool. We are about to discover one of the most historical and characteristic part of Rio de Janeiro. We are exactly right now in Lapa, which if you come to Rio de Janeiro, you need to come and see. This is in the daytime, which seems very quiet and very peaceful, but at night time become crazy. This is day. Let's transform it into night. Exactly. So just next to it, we have also Santa Teresa. We're gonna go around the city center of Rio de Janeiro. We're gonna discover the majority point of attraction and uh, we're gonna spend the day discovering this beautiful city. So guys, this is the city center of Rio. So the central historic of Rio where the Portuguese, when they came, they colonized this area and was more the rich area of the city. Very traditional. So I am around Rio de Janeiro with my friend Lea. Hello! She's my friend from um, 12 years. Yes. And she lives in Rio de Janeiro. And uh, I came here to see her. And then she's taking me around exploring all the beautiful town. Private guide. Escola Libra. The arte, pintura, escultura, quem vê a... Sou uma estátua por ensinante em com essa escola, tipo, na ventina de anos, quando eu fazia a faculdade, Rio de Janeiro. Ele é um palácio belíssimo, do início do século XIII. Viveu na família, e do que ele o governo a contrato, di questa famiglia la casa è diventato un spazio culturale di una scuola.
Good morning, we are going to explore all the beautiful sights seen from Rio de Janeiro. It's 8.20 in the morning, they should come and pick us up at 8.25. We're doing this tour, which is really nice, that is going to take you to the major part of attraction of Rio de Janeiro. So you pay about 300 uh, reals, they come and pick you up, they take you everywhere and all the tickets are included. And it's because I don't want to go around and then get the train and find my way of going there. I want an easy way this time, so we have this bus arranged that is... Uh, oh, I think maybe it's here. Yes, I think so. Can you see it? So we're all ready to go. Where our first stop is the prize. Yes, as you know, the prize is the most famous monument here in Brazil, in Latin America, and one of the most famous in the world. We are going to go to the Corcovado Mountain, 710 meters over the sea level. Yes, so the prize had 38 meters, 30 the monument, 8 the chapel of Nossa Senhora Aparecida, the main saint of Brazil. The Christ was built in October the 12th of 1931. Yes, the day of the sign here in Brazil. Um, it was built by the architect Hector da Silva Costa. So how will be our visit there? We will arrive. We will have. We had to change the van. Yes, we have to use the park, the national park vans. And I will get the tickets, and, I, and we will go to the Christ. I beg you to keep the tickets with you because we need to use two twice to go and to come back, yes? So when we arrive, you, I give you the tickets, you use the tickets and you keep and you keep with you, okay? So to arrive to the prize that is situated in the Corcovado mountain, we will go across the Flore Chijuca forest or Floresta da Chijuca in Portuguese. It's the biggest urban forest in the world. And also along the stairs, you have those beautiful animals. They look a little bit like monkeys. So pretty, nice surprise! <laughs> I 
And after you climb 200 stairs, you arrive here. So this is what you see. And the view that is insane. And also, as you see, it's a little bit colder in here. That's the reason why I'm wearing this, because um, not it's colder, it's windy. But if you think that we are almost 800 meters above sea level, that you understand why. Let's go to the next place. At the back, you can see the stadium Maracana, which is the name is Estadio Mario Filigno. Filio is one of the biggest stadiums in the world. The capacity of 70,000 people can be in this stadium. And now today we're going to visit this stadium only from inside the gate, so you can see it from outside. And let's have a look at it. So what you see in here behind me, there, and in here on the street. It's Sambodromo. It's where uh, the Samba people for Carnival do the big parade. And actually, the guide said something that I think is really, um, really good to know. So this is actually paid tickets. So all the people that are sitting on these places are people that actually pay the tickets to come and watch the Samba show. And every Samba school have 70 minutes to exhibit themselves. In this place, where you see at the back, which is the beginning of the, the show, is where the people that helped for the whole year uh, to prepare the costume and all the scenography, etc., they watch in the show. So it's like not paid ticket, which is in here, and the official show will start there, from here to there, which is 700 meters, and it fits 75,000 people. The biggest audio visible show in the world. Et voilà! Celeron stairs, a colorful stairs made by colorful tiles from the Chilean artist Jorge Celeron. He started to build this stair in 1990, yes, with colorful tiles of all parts of the world. So in 2005, the Rio government gave an award to him, to his, uh, his stairs here, and in 2013, he was, uh, he died. Two stories about uh, his life. The first is that he was suicidal, and the second is um, he was murdered by his war partner because when they registered the stairs, he didn't put the name of his war partner. So, are the two theories about his life? So, today the stairs uh, joins two neighborhoods that are Lapa and Santa Teresa, the Cathedral, Metropolitan Cathedral of San Sebastian. Here in Rio, we are in the center of the city. The cathedral was built in 1979 by an architect that was called Edgar da Fonseca. The particular thing here with the cathedral is the shape. The shape is like a Maya's pyramid. Yes? So, the, um, it, has an, it has a capacity of 20,000 people stand and 5,000 people sit. Um, here at the cathedral you have four vitraux or colorful windows that has the colors yellow, red, blue, and green. Yes, it depends on the sun or the part of the day. The charge has, um, has a particular color inside the lights inside the, the cathedral. So we always stay here more or less 15 20 minutes. Yes, you can take photos. Remember the photos without flash. Okay, I will, I will go with you here and then we continue our tour. Okay, welcome to. Sugar Mountain, which is this one behind me, actually it's not because you take the funicular there so you go up here and then you change and take another funicular that take you to uh, Sugar Mountain This first one is called Urca, which is a beautiful uh, part of uh, Rio de Janeiro very characteristic, very beautiful and now we're gonna go up you need to take two times the funicular is going to be very high. Let's make our way up to the mountain. If you want, you can also climb the mountain. So you can see at the back, there's people climbing there. So if you just want to experiment, something different, you can just go and climb the mountain. Otherwise, you can enjoy the beautiful view from up there. Let's go.
Now we are on the way to get the second funicular to get to the top of the mountain. to be honest because it's really windy but it's okay because um, at least it's sunny there is the sun which is makes the day even better Botafogo the red beach And I think one of the most incredible things is that you have 360 degrees view. This is the other side of Rio. And then also from here you have the view on the Christ Redeemer. So you can see Rio from every side and it's really incredible. You can see up there. And actually the guide said to me that there is a few places where you can swim. Like for example Ipanema, a Copacabana you can swim. But then if you uh, in Red Beach too. This one over here you cannot because it's contaminated. Eleven million people living in the city. So must be. But I find this place really breathtaking. If you want also you have like bars, you have like a little restaurant, you can have some food. So guys, our incredible tour is going to finish here. Uh, we're going to go back to the hotel, have a little rest because it's been a full on day doing so many things. So in here at my back, the Sugar Mountain where we were before. So I'm going to say goodbye and I'll see you later. So guys, our travel comes to an end. It's time for us to leave Rio de Janeiro. It's been an amazing experience. I loved every single moment of this trip. If you liked the video, put a thumb up and leave a comment to let me know what do you think. And as always, I will see you on my next adventure. And if you want to see more, remember to subscribe to my channel.